welcome back. Today's topic is about how to know when it's time to take a break in life. Now remember, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to receive all my content. Leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about the subject. Your response is highly appreciated. Definition of break. A pause in work or during an activity or event. Life could become overwhelming at times. And for some of us, we don't even realize how overwhelmed and stressed we are until it's too late and we end up paying for it in some of the worst ways. So I have prepared for you five ways for you to know when to take a break from life. Point one, you become restless. When you can't sit down because you have so much on your mind to the point that you feel like your head is spinning around your to-do list, this is your body's way of telling you that you need a break. Take a pause. Take some time to inhale, exhale. You might be doing too much or you may need to take some extra breaks at work in between projects or if you're one of those ones that like to jump from task to task without taking a pause when you begin to relax at the end of your day you may find it hard to quiet down your mind or to stop and sit making it difficult for you to recharge when you need it most point two you awake at all hours of the night getting your rest at night is very important but when you become stressed out and overwhelmed your sleep is the number one thing to suffer because when you find yourself staying up late lying awake wishing you can go back to sleep again or up at odd hours of the night and unable to soothe your way back into a slumber this is your body telling you that it's time for a mental break because endless racing thoughts often leads to anxiety. Now, if you find yourself stressed out before you get out of bed in the morning, this is a key sign that you are carrying too much stress and worry. Now, listen, take a step back to clear your mind so that you can start your day with a fresh thought. Point three. Your eating habits has changed. When you notice a change in your eating habits, this is an indicator that you are stressed. When you notice that you are eating less than normal or you are even skipping meal times intentionally or not, or on the opposite spectrum, you are starting to eat more than normal or you are starting to want to snack even when you're not hungry. Mm. Both scenarios is a signal that you need to take a step back and recharge and refuel. And oh, don't forget to stay hydrated too. Point four, you have no motivation. If you have to drag yourself to work or you are losing interest in activities that you once enjoyed, you are at a point of a burnout. High stress levels can eat away at your motivation, turning normal activities into chores or monotonous tasks that you feel obligated to do. Take some time to relax, to get your mind right so that you can find your drive again. Point five, you've been neglecting yourself. If your schedule has turned into a cycle of neglect of self-care, and basic needs like skipping meals, going days without bathing, missing doctor's appointments, it's time for you to take a step back to reevaluate your mental health. Your health is mandatory. Self-care is an extension of your health. Taking care of yourself can reduce stress and help your body to unwind. Perhaps self-care looks like cleaning your living space, uncluttering your environment, doing that 
pile of dishes sitting on your kitchen counter or doing that load of laundry so that you can have some clean clothes tomorrow or maybe it's just taking a soothing bath or reading that book that you've been putting off whatever it is make sure you schedule some time to encourage some self-care now I'm gonna leave you with a Bible scripture Psalms 4 and 8 in peace do I both lay down and sleep and in you only Lord do I dwell in safety and I want to encourage you to pay attention to your body when it's giving you the signs that it is overwhelmed or stressed out from life these signs can help you if you pay attention to live a prosperous and a productive life but you have to pick up on the signs be aware when your body is giving off signals that something is not right 